time to have some fun? It's time to have some fun. Hey, baby. Hey, sweetheart. <laughs> How you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. It's Friday night. Friday night. Cooking with Kip. After dark. I hope everybody's doing all right today. I hope you've had a great week. Um, it's time to do some cooking. Mm -hmm. Time to have some conversation. And some cocktail. Oh, you got a cocktail. <laughs> what you have? I'm having some rum and coke. Rum and coke, girl. Mm -hmm. What you say now? <laughs> and I'm having some hair select Sauvignon Blanc. Okay. It's pretty good, too. It's pretty good. And Hello, Gary Craig. Is. How you doing, brother? Happy early birthday. Hello, Elder R.T. Lee. Uh, it's birthday weekend. It's birthday weekend. Yeah, we're going to have a little birthday celebration this weekend. Hello, Shirley Turner from Panama City. We yeah. love you, too. Thank you for joining yeah. us. Yes. So, guys, let's get have a little fun. Let's have to do some cooking. Um, real simple and easy tonight. This is for you tonight, baby. All right. All about the... We, we stand in the mood, right? Yes. Yeah. I am. You are. Well, yes. I'm, I'm going to follow the ropes. Okay. So, it's uh, protein and vegetables. Yes. And some dairy, all dairies. I don't know. I'm talking for you. Oh yes. Um, but we're I not having dairy. Most dairies. Yeah. I am gonna put a little cheese on the cauliflower. cauliflower. Okay. So we doing uh, we having some fun. We uh, thank you for the people that have purchased the Berberay spice. Yes. Thank you so much, and it's been off the chain this week with that. So thank you. So I'm using the Berberay. I was just gonna use it on the chicken. But I said, hey, put it on the cauliflower. Put some on the cauliflower. Put it on the cauliflower. So I'm using that tonight. Um, so we're going to have a pan seared Berberay chicken and uh, some roasted cauliflower. Mm -hmm. We'll put a little Berberay spice on it and shave a little Parmesan cheese on it. So a simple meal. Actually, this meal is so simple and easy. It can be like a go to any day of the week. And you can be eating from start to finish 30 minutes. Tops. Yes. What you think, brother? Yes, I just pinned the site if you want to get your seasoning. Yeah. For those of you that ordered, the seasoning will go out some tomorrow and some on Monday. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's right. So we uh we're gonna do some cooking. Um, having a little fun. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is um, it won't take me long to get that chicken together because it's kind of ready. I already got it kind of trimmed up. Yeah. And on the chicken, I'm using my favorite part of chicken is the thigh. It's the thigh. That old juicy thigh. And I, talking about the, chicken. <laughs> and I usually leave a little fat on there because why have a thigh if it ain't got a little mm, to it? Okay. <laughs> why you, why you, what's that look, babe? I don't know. It's after dark. Gary Craig said he's drinking a bottle of Aussie. Happy early birthday. Oh, toast to you, brother. I know. <laughs> Cheers. Hello. Bubble, bubble. Uh, Elder R.T. Leak's birthday is next Friday, 521. Ah, she's, she's, she put a message on the page, doesn't she? Yes, it? all these tyrants. Yeah, good people. Yes. Hello, okay. Ruby Gandy, Marion Jackson. Okay, he's about to so cut I'm the a, cauliflower. I'm going to take this, this stuff here off right quick. And I'm uh, going to clean it up. And then we're going to just get some stuff on. Every time I look at a cauliflower, I always think about like it's a brain. I don't know why. It just had that look for a brain. Yeah. So I'm going to clean this up, get some stuff off of it, trim that out. And those of you, if you, some people are kind of intimidated by cauliflower, um, but I like it roasted. Yeah. Roasted. Cut them into these nice little steaks. Uh, roasted. Like, yeah, like steaks. I'm going to break it up into pieces tonight. Tonight, okay. Um, purees. Purees. Uh, mashed. Yes. That's because, cauliflower rice, that's yes. become a hot thing. Yes. Um, we did some cauliflower rice when? About a couple months ago? A couple of months ago, yeah. You just have to give it flavor. Hello, Marion Jackson from um, Jackson. Love you. Love you too, Christina Graham. Um... Gary Craig said fried. Hello, Be Beatrice Isaac. Thank you, Deanna yeah, DeCosta. I've had some fried cauliflower. That's what he said? Yes. Yeah. Um, yes, I'm seeing that. I've never had the fried. Uh, hello, Liz Gonzalez. Happy Friday. Hello, Daniel Hines. Hello, What's brother. I was on fire yesterday doing some serious cooking. Cooking, yes. I don't know what, what was going on in I his world. I don't know either, but He's, next time we all together, you need to be in the kitchen. I was in the kitchen, baby. You don't let your secret out, I brother. Know, I know his way around, baby. <laughs> Hello, right. Tracy Jones. So we're just going to break the cauliflower cooking. down into some pieces right quick. 
mother is around the corner getting her a little nap. Yeah, she is. I ain't mad at her. <laughs> so we're gonna break this down right quick. Hello, Hattie. Um, Karen Edmonds, I pinned the um link to the site for you to order the Berberet. Um, he has the other spice as well, the uh, barbecue rub, multi-purpose barbecue rub. Thank you for the stars, Gary Craig. Hello, Willa May Howe from Florida. Okay. Hello, Addie Alexandra. So there's the cauliflower. It didn't take long to break that down. Mm -mm. I got the oven at 400 degrees already. I can't get my mind off the fried, but we're going to roll with roasting. Well, you want some fries? Mm, well, no. We're gonna we're gonna keep it like it is. Hello, Christina <laughs> Graham. You gonna try to switch gears on this? Thing. No. <laughs> Thank you for the stars, Yvette Miner. All right, so we're gonna put this on the pan, and I'm gonna wipe this off, and I'll bring the pan back over here. Okay. Um, Hattie said the meal already looking good. Thank okay. you. Hello, Cleo Burrow, Bertha Johnson. Oh, by the way, Worth. I ain't even told you this, baby. Tomorrow, because you know. Celebratory day. Is yeah. That we call it celebratory day. Go shouting. <laughs> it's your birthday. But my <laughs> sweetheart, she, one of my favorite things is crawfish. So since I can go to the Gulf Coast to get the crawfish, she brought the, Gulf, the crawfish here. Yeah. So they're like out on the patio right now. But I'm cooking them in the morning. So I didn't tell you this, baby. So guess what I'm going to do tomorrow? What? Not in the morning. Sometime tomorrow. That's going to be my live feature. We're going to do a crawfish ball. All right. Chef I didn't Kip's say out. Orleans, we're gonna do a crawfish burl. Burl. <laughs> burl and fur. Hello, Lisa Snotty. <laughs> we're gonna do a crawfish burl tomorrow, man. Hello, Trisha Ann. We are doing um some pan seared thighs with the Berberay seasoning. Yeah, Berberay some... pan seared chicken and some roasted, roasted cauliflower. cauliflower. Yes. Hello, Josephine Edmonds, Lynn Um Herbe. Herber. Okay. Herber. Um, that might be uh, uh, a bear. It may be a bear. She's from Louisiana. It is a bear. No, it's not. Okay, it's maybe not. Maybe. Hello. Um, I'm not the one looking. Elder okay. R.T. Leak. She said she fixed it in the crock pot before the okay. cauliflower. Elder R.T. Leak. Leaks. I haven't forgot about you. I'm working on a menu. Don't think I forgot. <laughs> we got you working. Hello, Candy. Um, from Slidell, Louisiana. Slidell. Okay, so we're gonna put a little olive oil on here, and then we're gonna put some. You, I just use some salt and pepper, but we're gonna use some berberet tonight. Yeah. Give it some color. Yeah, give it some color. I think that's why you wanted that, didn't it? Give it yeah, a little color, give it, and, and it's gonna give it a. a earthy. The berberet has it's a it's a warm spice. Like yes. Warm is in flavors and the depthness of flavor. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna bring a whole new spin to it so uh i can do this mm -hmm. yeah. thank you for the stars I loretta tate with my hand the best tools in the world best tools in the world hello paula whalen get it coated with the thank you bishop yeah. ronnie you adams know, i don't think i watched this did i i don't think i did so let's, let's back up it's a vegetable rewind it's a vegetable so i kind of rinsed it off earlier but i'm gonna i'm gonna go I'm gonna do a better rinse on that. Sorry about that, folks. Um, right. tomorrow, what time are we doing the ball, baby? Um, about in five. The, in the afternoon. In the afternoon, five o'clock Eastern Standard, somewhere around that time. Hello, Leah, loving coat. I tried to order the seasoning and was having no success. I tried my debit card and my debit card without success. Is there a number I can call for help? <laughs> was that recently, Christina Graham? Someone else was having trouble, and yeah, then they tried again. Through. Yes, and she eventually got through. Um, hello, Harold S. Rucker. Good evening. Harold Rucker, your spice is on the way, brother. Daniel Hines like said he's going to show up for them crawfish. Oh, I, come on, Hines. <laughs> we got plenty. Hines <laughs> had crawfish in, in Texas last week. Yes. Yeah. Kip okay. has been wanting some crawfish. All right. So All right, I'm so gonna we're going to start over. He washed them. Yeah, we're gonna put some on Thank you for the stars, Gary Craig. Vernicia Parks, hello. Thank you for joining us. Uh, General Tao, General Sal's cauliflower, oh, so good, and broccoli, that's too. That's like a Asian spirit. Asian, yeah. mm, that okay. sounds good. 
I'm gonna toss them again. Then I gotta wash my hands again. The Berberay spice, Lisa, is a, a spice he has available for purchase. Um, it is an Ethiopian inspired spice that is good on almost anything. Um, Chef Kip's Berberay spice rub. Okay, so be going on right now with the Berberay. Over 17 different ingredients in this spice. 17 different. 17 different uh, flavors, but man, it makes you want more. Yes. It's addictive. Our first 20 supporters, they got a sample of the spice yeah. um, um, to try out, and we got some pretty good feedback with it. Hello, our maid of McBride, okay. Crystal Rorel. What's up, sis? Oh, I ain't seen <laughs> Crystal in a while. How you doing, Crystal? Yes, you. Gary Craig, we're going live with the crawfish boil tomorrow. Crystal, we're doing crawfish tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Karen Edmonds. I tried. I can't get it to pull up. Is there a web address, babe? What is it again? Click it with kipb.net. I put dot square, I think. If you do, if, it'll still do. It'll it'll still go there? Yeah. With kipb.net. All right. Got the cauliflower seasoned up. And I'm going to shave a little bit of parm onto it, just for a little extra kick. Okay, I repinned it, y'all. Try that, try that link. Hello, Lisa uh, Moloch McArthur. Thank you for sharing, Joanne Renfro. No, there's not a high sodium count in the seasoning. Babe, you want to speak on that? No, it's, it's not. That's from I, Deborah Curry. It's not. It's a, it's a, it's a good blend. I mean, it has sodium in it. Um, I'm one that. I'm, I'm not a, I haven't got to the point where I'm not a no sodium person yet. Right. Um, um, but we gonna, we talked about actually doing, doing a version with hardly any salt in it at all. Let me shave this on there. But it does have some sodium and salt content to it. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's, uh, when you taste it, it's a good blend of flavors. What cheese is that, babe? This is Parm. Parmesan, yeah. Parmesan and Reggiano. Yeah, sure. Hello, Martha Jones Scarborough. Thank you. So we got some cheese, some spice on there. We shaved a little cheese. Thank you for the stars, Crystal. And now we're gonna roast. Going into the oven, 400 degrees. Boom. Gary Craig yeah. said he used the uh, Berberet on a ribeye. How was it, brother? Oh, that sounds good. Yes. Thank you for the stars, Crystal. Delicia uh, Dorsey, executive chef. Hello there. Hello, Roz, Sister Roz, Garrison. Thank so you for joining. We got chicken thighs that were kind of, kind of trimmed a little fat off of them earlier. Maybe it's turned on my eye. Yeah, I turned I on your eye, your stove turned eye. Turned on my stove eye. And this is where I started cooking the Berber the most. Was on the chicken. Yes, and, and it's. And it does this thing. Um, it's a little bit of a kick, not much, not as much at all. But there's a little bit of a, some red peppers in it. But you really don't even don't even notice it too much. The heat, no, yeah. you don't. It's just a good balance. It's a good. And I'm going kind of heavy. Earthy spice. Yeah. There we go. Thank you, Kip. Harold S. Rucker said, ready to slang some spices on some chicken and there you shrimp. Go, brother. Yes. Hello, Evelyn Robinson Simmons. Hi there, guys from Longview, Texas. Thank you so much for joining us. Deanne Walker from Baltimore. Yes. Thank you for the stars, Sister Roz. All right. Let me wipe down a little bit. Move this back. The stars, it should be a button, um, Martha Jones Scarborough, at the bottom of the page. A star there to the far left, I think, on the bottom. Yeah. Not far left. And at the bottom of the page, there's a pin from Cooking with Kip that says, Join this broadcast. You can follow that link as well. Thank you so much. All right. Um, Deanna DeCosta says she bet the season will be great on tofu. My son is vegetarian. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Yes. You know what? funny she said it. I've done it on tofu. I have some some clients, some of my clientele during the week who, uh, there's vegan. a lot of vegan. Uh, that's what, I may get there one day, but I'm not there yet. <laughs> I ain't there, but I may get there, but I have a lot of clients that have, that we do vegan with, and I usually use that for, for the tofu, and mm -hmm. I've had great comments back. I got hot quick. 
Yeah, it did. Okay. Hello, um, Karen T. Shorts. So we're gonna get the uh, the cauliflowers in. Um, what do you have it on? 400? 400. Okay. The pan is hot. Getting hot. And uh, we're going to put a little oil in it. I'm using some olive oil in the pan tonight, but usually I use grapeseed because... Why, babe? It's smoke a high point. heat content. High heat. It's, it's the, the smoke point is higher. Yes. So I'm going to get a little bit of smoke tonight, but that's all right. Hello, Diane Walker. I want to see her. Janet Fields. Gary Craig said, oh, yes. I let it sit overnight and cooked it in my cast iron. His All ribeye right. with the Berber Ray. Okay. That sounds good. Hello, Diamond a Dozen. Uh-oh. So these are boneless, thinless chicken thighs. Yep. We're going to let them do that thing. Oh, the smell. That Berber Ray already. All right. We're going to let that do its thing right there. Hello, Sue Berta Store. Happy Friday. I'm gonna get a good little coat on there. And uh, smell it, baby. You can't beat that smell. <laughs> <laughs> it smells delicious. I opened the window in the house right now, baby. Everybody be peeking in. Neighbors, dogs, cats, <laughs> deer. <laughs> Hello, Bishop Eddie uh, Terrell Ball. He said it's looking flavorful. Yeah. Um, so, you got that in. And uh, we're gonna let this cook. I don't know, about five minutes per side. But I want a good... Good sear. Good sear on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we're just going to do it. And if, you, if you're doing something keto-friendly, mm -hmm. there you go. This will be great. Yeah. I'm going to garnish this with some uh, microgreens okay. uh, from our great friends at... What's the name of the company, baby? If you want to ask me, it would have rolled off Hold my tongue. We were at uh, Forsyth Park with them last Saturday. Right Hello, Linda Beach from Dayton, Ohio. Gwen Slaughter uh, Town. Rita McBride. Micro living, living, or, living, living organic. Organics. <laughs> I hope they're not watching you saying kiss. You messed that up. Deanna DeCosta says she's not there yet either. She's not there yet? No, not ready for beef. She, she needs some meat in her life. <laughs> said Berber Ray is a nice spice. It is, Susu. Mm -hmm. Hello, Rita Murphy. Aretha Brown from Arlington, Texas. Yolanda Clewis is on. All right. Thank cool. you for the stars, Yolanda Clewis and so, Evelyn so the Page. chicken is doing its thing right now. It's smelling good. Good aroma. Um, let it do what it do. Let it do what it do, baby. Hello, Bridget Dunn. Give it its time. And then we're going to plate it up a little, a little bit. And, uh, Gary Craig said the seasoning has a very distinct aroma and taste. Yeah. Sherman Paul said be easy in the house. <laughs> thank you for the stars. Is that big Easy? Big Easy okay. from New Orleans. Yeah. Rhonda Remo, thank you for the stars. Happy birthday, Kip. Hello, Ty. I use my Berberay on baked pork chops. Delicious. Look for my order for more. I suggest anyone on here that wants an exotic taste to get some thank you so mm -hmm. much Rhonda Remo that's exactly what it is it yes is, it's, it's an exotic. exotic it's a different flavor yes hello to you Sanders Green Alice Cruz Lisa Moloch McArthur do you guys ever do any pasta salad dishes since we are approaching the summer heat I just had to show you the Berber Ray right quick oh <laughs> <laughs> um we will be doing that we're pasta gonna, salad we're, we're gonna do some outdoor stuff uh, that's why I'm going to do the crawfish boil tomorrow outside. Um, but we're going to do quite a bit of outdoor stuff. Yes. Um, we're going to be adventurous during the summer. Yes. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Because, Make sure you have your notification yeah. bell turned on. We're going to be bouncing around. We're going to do some interesting stuff. Yeah. Mm. Hello, Latanya Washington. That's what I want. I want a little char on there. That's flavor. That's flavor. Yeah. I wanted a little char. A little crust on there. A perfect little seal. So good. Thank you for the stars, Karen M. Martin. Hey, Evelyn Page. So if you ever have a night where you want to do something quick, get some boneless. I, I like chicken thighs. You can get a piece of fish. You know, I took so much. Uh, a couple people said pork. Mm-hmm. Pork tenderloin. Sear or it pork real top. quick. Roll some cauliflower. Uh, maybe make you a little light salad. You know, I, I I talked about my salad dressings and the you know olive oil, a little lemon juice, mm -hmm. you know a little white wine vinegar or apple cider vinegar or light mm -hmm. vinegar. 
whip it up with some fresh cracked pepper, a little bit of salt. If you prefer, if you don't, that's cool too. Until um, it emulsifies, pour it on, a, uh, on some mixed greens. Have a perfect salad. You got a perfect salad. Thank you for the stars, Angela Alada and Nita Howard. Hello, John Douglas. Good evening, James Hamilton. Right, I'm going to check on the cauliflower. Okay. Hello, Mary Busby. Smelling good. Yolanda Clues, hey Ty, I know y'all first met when you went to a restaurant where Kip was working, but give us a little bit more of how you guys became Kip and Ty. When's the wind down? When's the wind down? We talked about that one. Yes. Actually, no, it kind of missed that story a little bit. Me and Ty used to work together. She worked yeah. with me at one point. I worked with you or for you? A little bit of both. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go back and watch the episode, <laughs> Yolanda Clues. But yes, we worked together. Yes, we worked together. And he tried to give me away to somebody else. I was the boss at one point. Yes. Now she's my boss. <laughs> Funny how the my tables turn. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, DJ Elliot Brown. Bridget Dunn said happy birthday blessings. Hello, Eileen Gall. Alice uh, Crew. It almost has a blackened look. Yes, it does. It does. Yeah. And, I mean, you don't have to do that, what I just did, but mm -hmm. I wanted that look. He likes I, it too. I wanted that, uh, I wanted a, uh, that sear and that, that toast on there like that. When I'm, si when I'm cooking something in a cast iron skillet, especially as a sear, I want to create a crust. Yes. It adds a depth of flavor to the product. And boneless, skinless, uh, boneless, skinless thighs don't take long to cook. No, they don't. Um, we get, we get there. Hello, Sheila Miller. I'm gonna turn this fan up, baby. John uh, Douglas Jr. said happy birthday, Gwen Slaughter Pound. Hey, midnight will be the birthday. Yeah. We may pop back in. No telling what's be going on out there. Deanna says she eat everything but tofu. Texture of a sponge. <laughs> <laughs> Yvette King said happy birthday. Sheila thank Miller said happy. Thank y'all so much for all the birthday wishes. Yes. Baby, how old you'll be tomorrow? Tomorrow? Yes. I'll be a wonderful age of 54. 54. Feeling good about it, too. Sexy chocolate. Ooh, what you say now? What you say now? Sexy chocolate. Latanya Washington, you can use this Burberry Way flavor. You can use lemon pepper, whatever flavor you want. She was asking about the cauliflower. What can she use to give it flavor? Yeah. If you're if you're cooking with um, regular butter, regular butter gives tons of flavor with a little bit of salt and pepper. Yeah. Or you, can, I usually mix butter with olive oil, um, just to get a good combination of uh, flavor as well as the health that the olive oil brings. Yeah, so I'm getting ready to pull the chicken out and rest it a little bit, baby. Howard McNeil said he did a crawfish boil last June here in Chicago and people were scared to eat them. More for oh, me. Man. They don't know. They when, don't know what's happening. Howard. When they don't know, they don't know, brother. Yeah, man. Forgive them for letting them know what they do. We done <laughs> turned so many people on to crawfish. It's not even funny. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Sammy Lee was, Williams. Was it, was it this Wednesday you told the fish the story about the crawfish baby at the, at the gas station? No, it was last Wednesday. Yeah. Hello, Sammy Lee Williams from Ackworth. Are you from Savannah? That's where I'm from. Yes. I saw you at Forsyth. Yes, we are. Was he serious? Oh, he's serious. No, on the, on the live. We we live in here. Sammy, I grew up about 40 miles from Savannah. In Pembroke. If you're from Savannah, you know ever heard of Pembroke. That's where I'm from. <laughs> <laughs> Country, huh? Country. Yes, we're proud of it. Hello, Tanya Wobwire. Mary okay. Porter Parker. We're let I'm that sorry. chicken rest for just a second. Okay. Thank you for the it's stars, Deanna. Yolanda Clues, I think it was uh the Valentine's Day episode. Oh, she wanna know what it was. Yes. I think it was the Wednesday before Valentine's Day. Yeah. That we talked about yeah. how we connected. Uh, yes. Yeah. We kinda talked about it this week, baby, a little bit. A little bit, yeah. yeah. This well, past Wednesday. Kinda. We or as your mama night. say, we talk about the night that we went out. Yeah, as your mama say, Wednesday gone. When, <laughs> my mama say that. She say, I say Wednesday. She say Wednesday gone or Wednesday coming. <laughs> I love my mother-in-law. That's <laughs> all like my mama. <laughs> um, right. love you too, Gwen. 
Thank you so much, Shirley Turner, for um, posting the site. Right. But Shirley is a uh, honorary admin. We need to put her on the team. Me, when we go back to Panama City. Yes. When we come to Panama City, Shirley Turner, you know we got you, sis. Yeah. Hello, John. Uh, John Douglas said happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. So, chicken is kind of rested for a second. And why do we want it to rest? Yeah, I'll just collect all those juices so when I cut it, all the juice don't go running out. Or uh, which word you used to use? Redistribute? Yeah, the juices are redistributed. Yes. Yeah. Latanya said you're still young. I am young. <laughs> but I hope you weren't trying to tell him because trust me, he know. <laughs> all right, now. <laughs> It'll be a good weekend. I'm, I'm, uh, my baby disclosed some of my fun, and tomorrow is crawfish. Mm -hmm. And Sunday, uh, one of my best friends, not only my best, one of my best friends, but uh, one of my cousins mm -hmm. that I grew up with, we're gonna spend the day hitting some balls. Playing golf. First, she told me it was like it was gonna be her and Lola playing with me. I was yeah, like, I got Lola. him. This, I... this ain't gonna be good. <laughs> Because, you know, if you ever play golf, you can't be out there put, holding, put. holding up the people behind you. <laughs> I'd have been saying bad stuff about you. <laughs> I was like, baby, we must be going to the driving range or something because y'all can't go out there like that on a Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Elizabeth Gillian. She says happy birthday. Janet Field says happy birthday. Hello, right. Martha Harvey Lewis. So the the uh, cauliflower's been cooking for a minute, huh? Yes. Let me test them out. See if they're getting tender. Alice Riri will be 54 in September. Loretta right. Tate. Somebody's from 1967 just like me. Babe, do you ever use avocado oil? That's yes. Diane Kane. I do. Avocado oil and grapeseed oil. Thank you, Jacqueline Beeman. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Daniel Hines said garlic infused olive oil. Oh. Hey, I tell you what. I did uh, some basil oil. Yes. A few weeks ago, and I'm doing some some green. They're not ready yet. They're not. No, I'm gonna turn it up a little I bit. I sure was gonna steal me a piece. No, they ain't ready yet. Um, I'm gonna do some green onion oil. I'm making some. Actually, I thought about doing it today, but it's my birthday weekend, and I didn't want to be too complicated. This yes. Weekend. Um, That's so. the hardest thing, babe. Trying to get you to let let loose. It, really? Well. When you're in business mode, I, I mean, usually all it takes is a cocktail. <laughs> it's a cocktail. cocktail. And I'm going to say. And you lose. Hello, uh, Marilyn Brown, Florence Gibbs. Oh my God, birthday tomorrow. Hi, family. We're doing fine. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I just wanted to relax a little bit this yeah. weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, but like, you know what? Initially, you told me don't don't do a lot. Tomorrow. Yeah, I was like, babe, because as much as we enjoy the lives, they can be a bit stressful. But, but I said no. He was like, no, I want to see my people. Yeah. <laughs> I'm cook tomorrow. You're welcome, Yolanda Clues. Latanya said, Latanya Washington Harris, if you have a crawfish that still moves when it's plated, can you eat it? Sis, let me tell you something. Plated? <laughs> <laughs> I thought she could eat it before you cook it. It ain't supposed to be I don't moving. know if I want to eat one that's still moving. That's just me. Um, <laughs> if, it, it, if it ain't red, sis, you don't need to eat and if the food. tail is not curled, do not eat it. That's right. Yes. Why, baby? Why is the tail curled? Because that means it was dead when it went in the water. That is correct. If the tail is straight out when you eat a carfish that's cooked, that means he was dead when you cooked him, so you don't need to eat him. Yes. When the live crawfish are cooked, the tail curls up, meaning that he said, ooh. Ooh, this water this hot. water hot. And he <laughs> curled his tail up. <laughs> so, chicken's good. We get ready to uh, um, do some little plate in here. Sorry, doing it. Okay. So, when I'm in what's work mode, yes. when I'm catering an event, so I, I prepare it a certain way, right, baby? Yes. I kind of do some slices, and I do some work for you. So, we're going to get the chicken working. Okay. Deanna DaCosta said happy birthday from Thank the DaCostas. So Thank you. I like that name, DaCosta. I know. I hope I'm saying it right. Bertha Johnson, happy early blessed birthday. Nothing like being country. Fun, fun. That's had me, Brian. So I know you know about the chicken. We're going to cut this chicken. <laughs> we're going to cut that chicken. Look at the juice. Look at that juice. It, it, yeah, I know you saw me cooking it fast, but it's, it's juicy. It shows still juicy. It shows still juicy. Thank you, Gwen Slaughter Pounds. You have a good I'm evening. I'm to cook some more chicken. I told you that. I yeah. seen them tree pieces. 
Hello, Florence Gibbs. Say happy birthday, Ella Francis. Good evening, Kip. Coming on late. It's Kip. It's his birthday tomorrow. Yes, yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, midnight. It's only popping. Okay, so I'm gonna get some chicken on the plate. Harold Rucker said you pacing yourself with that lemonade tonight. Tomorrow's a big day. <laughs> with that lemonade. <laughs> you got it right, brother. <laughs> Captain Phil says happy birthday. Have you ever cooked crawfish, Patrick? I don't know. I'm not what that sure is. what that is. We'll have to do some research on that. Yeah. Shirley Turner said happy birthday. I did too. Alright, so let's get this call. Florence Gibbs said you younger than her son. God bless you. Than her son. Ah no, you she don't look like she it. got no son. You ain't telling the truth, Florence. Thank you for the stars, Karen Carlton, Kimberly Gilmore, good evening. Denise uh Ferrer said happy birthday, baby. Thank you so much. Sharon go Brown, hey sis. Some roasted cauliflower on here. With the Berber Ray. Sharon Brown said happy birthday, Kip. Thank and you. many more. Thank you for the stars. I know. We need some color on this plate. And I got some for you. Gary Craig said fried cauliflower tastes like fried shrimp. All right, brother. I think we do to like do. a buffalo cauliflower. And that's like fried, isn't it? If we can use, uh, what's my special flour? Coconut flour and fry. Yeah. I can. I can be down. So we give it this plate a little color because I got some uh, sunflower microgreens. Mmm. Yeah, I know. I know. We got. We got to give it some some life. Hello, Rita Bryant. Thank you for joining us, Diane Wallace. I don't know. George Cotton. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. My mama be like, "Baby, that I eat that stuff right there. You put on that plate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna eat it, but that ain't my." <laughs> microgreens, sunflower microgreens. So we're gonna put just a little bit more cheese on the. Uh, the Kelly Saint Skipper, happy birthday. There we go. So that's a healthy plate. Karen Carter got her shirt, baby. She, she loves it. Yes. All right, fantastic. That is a healthy plate. Roasted and it looks good. Uh, cauliflower and pan seared chicken thighs, sliced. Alicia Dotson says happy birthday. Try a little bit of that cauliflower. Candace says she can't wait to get her shirt. Hmm. Is it good, baby? Got to come. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the stars, Zebra Cars. Oh, they blowing it I for blow me. I blow it for you, baby. Like Mama blow mine that day. Mm hmm That thing was funny. Mm hmm Hello, Kimberly Gilmore. So the cauliflower is great. Tender. Yes, I saw it. Thank you, Shirley Turner. Janice Geeson, good evening. I love watching and listening to y'all beautiful living. Sweetheart. Yes. And y'all enjoying. Mm. Oh my gosh, that Barbara Ray. Happy pre birthday to Mr. Kip. What well, is a short show tonight? Chanel King, it's your brother's birthday, sis. Chanel King, it's on here. It's tomorrow. Chanel King, I'm going to cook this for you and Reggie. <laughs> when you come there, I know. Chanel, Chanel said she ain't eating no cauliflower. <laughs> That's all I But she probably added a few adjectives <laughs> to that cauliflower. No, bleep it, bleep, bleep, cauliflower. I'll give her a margarita. She'll eat, <laughs> She'll eat it. Thank you for the stars, Deborah Carson. Mom, I'm going to let Mom taste the chicken and see what she say. Karen Edmonds said her order went through. Thank God. She can't wait. Mom Thank you. Willa May Howe, Mama's going to taste the chicken. She done woke up <laughs> from her nipping out. Hello, Chorus Howard, Elizabeth Gillian, chicken, Cheryl Davis. Mama says it's chicken good, baby. Mama says it's good. I'm her baby, so she'll say that over here. <laughs> you don't have to be good. You want some more, Mama? <laughs> That's the key if she wants some more. Hello, Irene Harris. <laughs> so that was pretty simple, right? You know, I just took some, some chicken thighs, seared them with some Burberry spice. Burberry. Deborah Carson, we got I you, I like sis. the way that sound, too. Say it again. Burberry. <laughs> Babe, you put all that in. But I like it. Lisa Snotty just ordered two slices. Uh, spices. Thank you. <laughs> two slices, baby. Deborah Carson says she hasn't received her uh, supporter package. We got I you. got you, Deborah. We got you coming. I mean, I've been weeded. <laughs> weeded. If you, know, if you ever work in the restaurant business, you know what weeded means. In I the mean, weeds. It means you, you covered. You, you blowed out. <laughs> you busy. Carice Howard, his birthday is tomorrow. Yes. Chorus Howard. So, so we have yes, this. Nina Howard is keto friendly. Yes. Keto friendly. Some 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 um, 
uh, roasted cauliflower with some burberry spice and the chicken thighs and then I just added some microgreens and shaved a little Parmesan cheese on at the end and there you go very quick simple meal healthy keto friendly um, you can't beat that can't beat it and it don't take long mm -mm. That's the chicken. and it's tasty so yes. I gotta make mom a plate uh, Donna Fluis Williams said happy birthday Skip hey Donna Skip Donna I love you <laughs> Louisiana <laughs> <laughs> when we come to Louisiana, dog, we me, and, you. me and Ty, you and your husband, we're going to get together. We're going to have some grape juice. <laughs> we're going to eat some food. And I'm going to cook in your kitchen. <laughs> Hello, Irene Harris. Uh, everybody's saying happy birthday. She drinking on some Lambrusco. That's my wine, too, uh, sis. Right. Hello, Phyllis Goodman from Little Rock, Arkansas. Thank you for the stars, guys. We we not gonna be with y'all. Thank you for the star, Chanel King. Yeah, Chanel just getting home must be. Yes. Um, we're gonna sing happy birthday to Kip tomorrow. Chanel and cooking crawfish tomorrow. We're doing a crawfish so burr. About five o'clock tomorrow, we're gonna be outside. We're gonna do a crawfish ball. If you have never had crawfish, I get it. Some people look at them and say, No, I won't eat that mess. Yes. Then the other people, it's like caviar. Or it's like your favorite dish, whatever you like. But we have crawfish, we have a little corn in there, we have some potatoes, we have some sausage. Some boiled eggs for me. You want the boiled eggs? Yeah, babe. We'll put all that stuff in there <laughs> and uh, boil it in the pot, put some good spices in there. I might throw some mustard. Go ahead, babe. You want some? Lola's trying to steep chicken. See, all of a sudden she came alive. <laughs> Y'all seen that hand? Uh, I just reposted the link. Cindy Slee said, I have crawfish one more time, one time, and I was surprised how good it was. Yes, yeah. sis. So crawfish, it's this story about it, and I'll talk about it more tomorrow. Yeah. But the way you eat it, you got to, you know, you got to break, up, break the head off. We're going to do a tutorial. And you got the, first thing you got to do is the head part, you got to suck the, the juice, juice out, out of, of the it. head. And then you pinch the tail and pull the meat out. So, it sound kind of so what a what a saying. It sound kind of <laughs> X-rated. I mean X-rated. Yeah, but you suck the head and pinch the tail. That, that's all, folks. That's all, folks. <laughs> but it's good. Donna Fluence said, "Love you more anytime." She would love it. Cindy said, "We could come cook in her kitchen. <laughs> we gonna do some kitchen crashing <laughs> next year. Show up at the door, y'all. Better open the door open too. The door. Don't treat us like them people." I got a pot in my hand. Donna says, suck the head. Too much work for me. That's Kimberly Gilmore. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody say, hey, mama. Hello. <laughs> Sheila Walker said, no, ma'am. She don't want that? Um, Polk's Cajun Sausage. Uh, who was that said that? KG uh, said, add some Polk's Cajun Sausage. You know our sausage is Kaneka. 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 From Kaneka, Alabama. Alabama. <laughs> Not green ball, but connect. <laughs> Sharon Brown said she can't do that. See herself sucking the juice out of the head. Sharon, you can do it. <laughs> Look, she can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Barbara Herbert, happy birthday. Thank you so much. Oh, you can eat up all the chicken. She even came over and got all the chicken. Russville, Arkansas, Sheila Walker. Candace said, if I can get over it looking like a bug, I might could eat it. <laughs> Sis, once you pop that tail, it ain't gonna look like no bug See, no more. Same people say don't eat crawfish, they eat up some lobster. Yeah, yeah. lobster like a big rodent. Y'all see Lola sneaking? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> your dad about to take your hand off. <laughs> Mama, she eating up all the chicken. Chris <laughs> Mama said, <the> show will. <laughs> Christina Graham, there will be so many wishing your birthday greetings, so I want to extend many more blessings to come your way. May God continue Thank to enrich your man, life. This is the 54th year. So can you imagine what the 55th year is going to be like? Yeah, double nickels, baby. Double nickels, man. Yes. You know, um, I'm excited about it. You know, I'll keep up with my birthday with my mom's birthday. Yes. Every time she hit the eights, I hit the fives. Yes. Mom, how old are you? 48? Then you turn around backwards, don't you? <laughs> she turned around backwards. <laughs> Hello, Vonda Anderson. <laughs> Is it Wanda Anderson? Yeah, Vonda. Vonda. Send the Snee. I sure would invite the neighbors. Hello, Evelyn Brown. Hey, I, I'm looking forward to that. I was talking to my buddy today. He lives in Louisiana. And uh, we're going to... We,
that would be great if we come up with some ideas like that where we just crash somebody's house with some food. And don't worry about stocking. We're going to cook with whatever y'all got. Yeah, we're going to cook some food. Whatever you got in the refrigerator. Yes. I just walk in and say, hey. We're going to make a meal. I'm cooking tonight. I'm making a meal. Yeah. That would be cool, wouldn't that it? That would be cool. Yeah. We yeah. might start that. We might start that in July at uh Chanel, at Chanel King's and Reggie house. King's house. That's right. Kimberly Kilmore said Kaneka is the best. Those are so good. I had thirty pounds of crawfish last weekend. They were delicious. Okay. Yes. Right. Uh so, Olivia Taylor said, Y'all nasty. <laughs> talking about the crawfish. She's talking about crawfish. Crawfish. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mirabel. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's Friday night. It's Friday night. Okay. So that's it, baby? Yeah, that's it, y'all. So we had some craw some crawfish. <laughs> we had some cauliflower. We had some roast some uh pan chip chicken. And I like these microgreens. I wanna make sure y'all get to see the crawfish alive before he put them in the water. I like the microgreens. If it rains I might go back forever. to the park tomorrow. Pick up stuff. Somebody just said, are we shopping tomorrow? We might. I got to go back to my favorite seafood market on Monday morning. Next weekend is going to be an interesting weekend because we have a an event in Florida next weekend. Yes. So we're going to go live. We're going to go live. Yeah. Thank you for the stars, KG. Good night, Shirley Turner. Okay. Thank you. So it's been a plum, please, and pleasure. As well as a privilege. Well, we get ready to get out of here. Babe, you, we gotta... need to do our disclaimer about that saying. We got that from. Oh, yeah. That saying that I said. Yeah, okay. Well, it used to be on CLK. Okay. But there's a DJ based in Atlanta. I don't think he's on the radio anymore, but his name is Young Blood. Young Blood. Yeah. I first found Young Blood at WCLK back in 85. Then he moved to 104.1 WALR. I know the station, don't I? Yeah, you do. Only on Saturday morning. Old school. Old school. The way the old DJs used to be. <laughs> the way he talked. And they talk trash and they tell you what was going on in the community. That was Young Blood. But he always finished his show up. But it's been a fun, pleasing pleasure as well as a privilege. Yeah. And you can back that up with a double measure. <laughs> yes. Um, so that's where I stole that from. So yeah. Young Blood, uh, props to you, brother. Yeah. yeah. He's a Morehouse mm -hmm. man, too. He graduated from Morehouse. Yes. So, y'all, we out of here. Have fun. Mm -hmm. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow if night. Like crawfish, if you never had them, you're going to see how it's done. Yes. We Come party with us. We're going to eat them. And my cousins will come and hang out with it. Yeah. And when we get together. It's it's the time, it's the time. It's like uh who are those people in the Bible that uh Kip, the Bible? Well they the people in the Bible that done everything we doing now, there's somebody in the Bible that has done it. <laughs> Ain't that right, Mama? <laughs> yep, Mama, Mama say yep. You say it loud, but she's <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna be around five o'clock, yeah. uh Around Tomorrow. five to six yeah. Eastern, we ain't gonna put no pressure on him. It's his birthday, yeah. but I make sure we come on and sh show our crawfish burl. That's it. That's okay. Yes. Well, yeah. Have a good night. Keep a smile on your face. Yes. Cooking with Kip B. Dot net. Get you some Berber Ray. What's the Instagram page? <laughs> Chef Kip. Chef Kip B. Yes. Chef Kip B. On Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. Follow us on YouTube. And YouTube. Donna said, "Kip, really." <laughs> I don't know what she's talking about. Something you did. I don't know, Donald. You just sent me a DM. <laughs> I just found out what DM was. Let's though. go. Let's go. That's that 54. I didn't know what DM. I was like, what's a DM? <laughs> Damn, man. <laughs> we love you. We so love you. Good night. Y'all have a 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 good night.